You see Pluto and Charon, and there it goes. And we have to go through what we call the keyhole, that little green spot that you see there. And that is the, the distance we have to be precisely. Right now, at the start of this press conference, the spacecraft was 658,000 miles from Pluto. So after 3 billion miles and a little over, we're just that far away. So 7.50 tomorrow morning, you will celebrate we're there. And then at 9 o'clock tomorrow evening, you'll hear the signal that was sent at around 4.20 in the afternoon at the speed of light actually getting back to the Earth. So we'll all have a real celebration at that time. It's kind of unfinished business. It's the last check mark in the initial reconnaissance of the solar system in many people's books. We have seven instruments on board the spacecraft. You can see them here. And they sample uh, the Pluto system with everything we've got, from the ultraviolet to the visible, the infrared. The instruments are fixed on the body of the spacecraft. So if we want to take an image of Pluto, we have to turn to point the cameras at Pluto. As we're getting closer to the Pluto system, you can see that Pluto and Charon are getting larger in the fields of view of the targets. Now we're near closest approach. Right here, we're taking data that if you could transport Central Park to Pluto, you would be able to identify the ponds in Central Park.